Hello, right, first of all, excuse the war behind me, uh, I'm kind of, sort of, in the middle of decorating at the moment, sort of. But anyway, that's not what today's video is about. My last video, which was released on my birthday, in case you were wondering, yeah, you weren't. My last video was kind of a top five list, um, and I really enjoyed it, to be honest, so I'm kind of following with that, and this is my top five TV shows which are currently airing. Sorry, Breaking Bad. So, we'll kick it off with number five, where we have Doctor Who. So, anyone for Dodgems? Exterminate! Exterminate! Now, as you probably know, I'm a big nerd. But specifically, a Doctor Who nerd. My first YouTube channel, which was way back when I was nine years old, uh, specifically focused on action figure reviews by Doctor Who. Sad, I know. Uh, but currently I run one nerd page, which is an ex-Doctor Who page, and I'm an admin on another Doctor Who fan page uh, on Facebook. Uh, links in the doobly-doo. So yeah, if I'm a big nerd, then why is it at number five? So that's basically because in recent years I've had a lot of conflicting opinions about the show, as mentioned in other videos. But this show is part of my childhood, so I actually find it really difficult to kind of let go and stop watching it because it's been one of my favourite things my entire life. A Man in a Blue Box travels space and time and fights aliens. It's a simple premise, but it's worked for over 50 years, so of course I watch it. Swiftly moving on to number four, Jessica Jones. Have you seen this show? Tell you what, let's take a walk on the wild side. Let's have everybody go all in. Let her ride. Oh. Now it's getting interesting. Best estimate, where's the pot right now? Just over a million dollars. Yeah, that should do it. Let's make it really crazy. Everybody fold. You need to, if not. It's worth mentioning that Daredevil is actually my favourite Marvel character, and yet it still didn't make the list. And I love the Daredevil show, but unfortunately I haven't quite managed to squeeze season two into my timetable as of yet. But season one could not compare to the first season of Jessica Jones. It is definitely the darkest Marvel show, and probably one of the darkest adaptations out there altogether. I couldn't believe how well David Tennant actually played Purple Man slash Kilgrave, and it had some excellently unexpected twists. I hear that Misfits is yet again going across the pond, so I'm hoping the producers of that show will take inspiration from Jessica Jones and go down that sort of route, rather than making another carbon copy that doesn't really work. Number three, Ash vs Evil Dead. Do you even know what you possess here? <laughs> well, of course. I mean, obviously I do, but uh, you might want to share it with Pablo. This book is a gateway to hell. A, a way to summon forces of evil into our earthly realm. Yep, that's exactly what I thought. Please continue. The great thing about this show is it doesn't take itself too seriously. What? I hear you cry? A comedy doesn't take itself too seriously. It sounds kind of stupid, but a lot of comedies do, and a lot of the jokes just feel forced and consequently aren't funny. On top of that, the plot is actually very well devised. So at the same time as it being funny, you actually have this coherent story you can follow. Still not sold? It's a show about zombies and a guy with a chainsaw for a hand. Number two, The Flash. Have you decided? I need more time. Don't we all decide? I need more time. Maybe if I go up there and kill a few of your new friends. No. One more day. I'll tell your daughter you said hello. If you're up to date with the show, then you'll know the big bad in season two has just been revealed. Some, like my brother, have stated that the twist was obvious and kind of stupid because it makes it similar to the first series, but I disagree. Coincidentally, my opinion on how people compare the new Star Wars film to the original trilogy is actually very similar to this. While series basic plot is similar, they've still managed to make it very different from the first series. First of all, it's much darker, but the second series structure is actually a lot different to the first series as well. And the best thing, I think, is the introduction of Earth 2. Earth 2 has allowed them to introduce a whole host of new characters, while at the same time doing loads of character development to the existing characters. And it just makes the story even better. Another thing to note is that unlike Arrow, 
They don't feel a need to give you a constant wave of flashbacks that you really don't care about. Number one. Okay, so you probably guessed it, but number one has to go to Game of Thrones. I've mentioned this in the past couple of videos, and that's basically because, to be honest, I only started watching this show back in November, and I'm obsessed. I'm currently reading the second book, and I just love it. Unlike most that watch it now though, I didn't actually know about most of the twists which will literally take your breath away. Uh, most notably some uh, particular weddings. The show manages to run three main plots while a whole range of subplots are going on, and yet the show still doesn't feel like it's crowded with too much. You never know who to root for because there are loads of characters. And your favourite character probably isn't morally good and probably going to die in the next episode. On top of that, the special effects look amazing. The show has the best introduction I think I've seen of any show. It has a developed history, a developed language. And despite that it's a fantasy show, it's amazingly realistic. Apart from the fantastical elements, obviously. I can't wait for series six next week and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Okay, so that is my top five TV shows and why I love them. I hope that spurred you on to watch some of these TV shows and if you've already watched them, then I hope you agree with my opinions. Some honorable mentions go to Better Call Saul, Suits, Friday Night Dinner, Orange is the New Black, Sherlock, and The Musketeers. As always, thanks for watching. Chaos Rat edited this video again. Big thanks to him, link in the description. And I hope you enjoyed this picture of me edited as ET. Adios. Hey guys, it's Kaxis here. Guess it's been a couple of weeks since my last video. Uh, and whilst I do try and get videos out there as quickly as, and as much as possible, uh, from often and not as much this year, but especially last year. Um, Stephen Moffat has announced his departure from the series, and I just kind of want to talk about how that's going to affect the show and basically just give my opinion on it. So, uh, since he kind of started the show way... If you're up to date with the show, then you'll know that the big pad... Big pad? What? Oh no, it's a giant pad!